biggest difference is, is just the kids. Um, you know, every year you get guys that were underclassmen that now grow up a little bit and, and uh, become that senior leader. Um, so we had a different senior class than, than the previous one with, uh, you know, guys like Marquez, Ryan Heckethorn, James Darno, and, and guys that have had that experience. But then we also had some other guys step up that, um, you know, weren't um, the starters as, uh, as juniors or sophomores. So um, I think that was probably the biggest change. It's different from last year because you feel like you have like a sense of authority. Like you feel like you need to um, like tell the young kids what they need to do and everything. So you just feel like you're in charge. This year playing on Friday nights, it's so much more different than JV. It's kind of surreal in a way, and it's a feeling that you can't really get anywhere else. Senior year, I wanted to come out and uh, join, the, join the fun. It was a different vibe with Coach Hayward being in here because it was just like everyone was super excited to see how he was doing as like the new coach. And the new stadium definitely was like different than Northwestern, so like it brought a whole different vibe to the school. He's changed the whole school, the whole school district, not even just the football team, but his actions and things he makes us do for the community. It's amazing. I, I love what he uh, did with the community thing and um, just getting out there more and meeting new people. That's how you build relationships for after football. To, uh, and that's how you bring people to come see the football team. So it was definitely great to go out there in the community to help out and uh, support other people. Try to be leaders for the community and our school and, and try to change the, the, the culture of the school. And I think we've done a pretty good job of doing that in these past few years under Coach Hayward. Coming in this year, we won at Hines. Last year I didn't play. Uh, I was around for all the games. Personally, I was hungry. We were so excited because like last year we were really good. Like we had a winning season and we were like really excited to see what this year was up to. We kind of didn't want to let last year's team down. We wanted to make to the same place. Um, we wanted to go farther though. I feel like from the beginning of the year we expected to go pretty far. We expected to at least do what last year's team did. Um, and we actually expected to do more. We expected to go to Heinz. CV, it was tough. You think the first game sculpts your season, you get to see where you're at. We all thought for a second there, you're like, is this how the season's gonna go? I liked her too bright that night. Uh, we had most of our linemen, most of our players started on offense were, and defense were first timers. We never experienced that before. The first two losses, our guys played to the final whistle. Um, and that's all we ask, you know, continue to play hard, continue to fight. Um, and that's exactly what they did. And, and we told them that at some point we're gonna gel, we're gonna bond and, and we're gonna get this thing moving. We all had some thoughts going through our heads. Uh, we were a little worried, but um, we knew if we came together and we bonded as a team how we should, um, we knew we'd have a good good season. And we kind of just took the anger and like how we felt those first two games and put it in and just played angry. We all practiced so hard the week after losing the knock. And uh, that really changed our season right there. That week of practice, I think, changed our whole season. We just knew we had to pick it up and really start to focus. So the next week of practice, we were just going out and, you know, banging heads with each other, giving 110% and, you know, using, just using that, like those two losses, just to kind of drive us into the next game. I think it was really the senior leaders, Marquez, Kale, James, myself. We just picked it up, got on the younger kids, and they got on us, and everyone just started holding each other accountable for what we had to do. We didn't panic, and we just got back to work and did what we were supposed to do. I think our next game was Highlands at home, and we, Definitely after the rough first game, we did not want to let the home crowd down the second game. So uh, we came out, we just came out tough, started playing hard. And then the next week, I think it was Ambridge we had. So we kind of used Ambridge as like a regain and refocus. It kind of like relax, 
get everything going. If you know they're a little, they're having a rough season, use that to like help us, kind of help our first team out, get reps. Middle of the season for us was pretty crucial. Like, I don't know, in order for us to get back to the playoffs, we had to win the games. Like, we, we had to win all of our games. We knew, we had uh, Highlands and Ambridge, and we knew, like, they were good teams, but we knew we could beat them. And then we knew uh, we had the big three coming up next. We had Montour, Newcastle, and South Fayette. And we, we just had to go out and play our hardest, and it showed. What's up, Danger? What's up, Danger? We actually didn't know that we clinched playoffs until um, the second to last week of the regular season, um, which was when we were playing at Indiana, um, was when we found out that we clinched. Um, so, you know, very tight race. We play in a very tough conference. To be in that atmosphere, to play in the playoffs, I mean, it, it's a whole different feeling. It's nothing like the regular season. There's so much more, there's more spotlight on you. Everyone's watching, everyone wants to see what happens in the Whitfield playoffs. and. It's kind of, that's what kind of where you make your name for yourself. It was real calm because we, uh, we didn't want to go too big hitted or too nervous because we've been there before so we knew how it was like to be in the playoffs so we just uh, act like we've been there before and it was real chill but it was exciting and uh, I felt like everything clicked that day. Greensburg Salem, they were a good team, but we brought it to them and we, we were focused all throughout the week and did what we needed to do. It 
was definitely a sad uh, experience. Uh, just all the work we put in together, and uh, we knew that we could have a chance to win a Whippeo play uh, championship. So it was kind of sad, you know. But I felt like we did everything we can together. So I felt like um, all our hard work wasn't it didn't um, wasn't for nothing. You know, I've been playing with these guys for 13 years, and the fact that I'll never get to play with them again. It's, it's really heartbreaking. But, you know, I know they'll always be there for me and I'll always be there for them. And uh, I love every one of them. For us, we've all played football for the past 12 to 10 years, somewhere around there. So, I mean, we've spent just about as much time on that field than we have in this building for school and stuff like that. So it, it was hard and so, I mean, but we have to just move on with our lives and continue, but it will always be something that we remember as a friend group and as a family. I was so upset, because I'm never like, all my friends that play football are juniors, so like, I'm never gonna get to cheer them on again, and it's just like kind of sad. When I looked down at my shoulder pads and threw them off, just all the memories just shot through my head and I started tearing up. It was one of the worst times of my life so far. It's nothing I'll ever experience again with those people and it'll, I can never bring get that back ever again. They're always, they'll always be my brothers. I don't think it's fully hit me yet, but I know it will eventually. And the last game was sad, yeah. We're a tight group of kids and I think that's one thing that'll never be forgotten is who you played that last down with. It was weird the first day I got to go home and I was like, wow, I'm actually uh, home and I didn't know what to do with my day. There was a whole part of the day that I normally didn't, that I hadn't had for a while and just didn't know what to do with it. You can't, you can't put a price on what we get like as a football team. It's just like you form like a different kind of relationship than friends in school. It's like you've gone through more with them than you have with anybody else. So it's something special. My favorite moment of the year was probably beating Greensburg Salem in the playoff game and just having another chance to go up against Thomas Jefferson and see if we can beat him. Um, probably beating Montour, watching Coach Feely cry. Kind of made me felt proud that we, such a big guy could cry over something that we did. I thought we played a pretty, a well game. Made me proud. For me, touchdown I had against Highland. I uh, ran a sweep out to the left and dove in the end zone. That was pretty exhilarating. Probably when Hayden Stetter showed up to practice an hour late and said he got caught in traffic in Chippewa. That was probably one of the best moments of the year. My favorite moments always are the bus rides to the away games. Just singing on the speaker with all the girls, getting dancing and stuff, getting all hyped up. So much fun. <laughs> I'd say my favorite moment was probably beating Greensburg Salem and getting another crack at TJ. My favorite moment was definitely doing the senior dance for the senior pep rally with the boys. Um, having four of the boys on the football team throwing me in the air was very scary, but it was very fun. Favorite moment is probably from camp way back. Everyone would deflate each other's mattresses and stuff. I'd probably say my favorite moment was uh, we were out of practice and you'd know Coach Feely would drink a bang when you'd come out screaming. It's like a monster combined with like creatine. It's, and they would drink those and they would come out screaming. I'm gonna miss them. I mean, they've been with me my whole life. It, it's gonna be different waking up in the morning and not coming here, not seeing them every day. It's gonna feel weird.